Yukon Del Pra is the second one in a series reflecting my ceramics collection and it's kind of just a work of love. I get inspiration from all different periods of art. The inspiration comes not just in form, but also in color, in texture, in sensuality. Dalpra is use of colors and glazes. There's a real precursor to modern painting that didn't arrive for 100 years. In the 1850s and 60s, it was the new age of dyes that came out made from chemical mixes. So there was a whole new age of color. And Delpera is very famous for this Saint de Boeuf color mixed in with blues, turquoise, greens, and aquas. This is a great example of the sculptor and the ceramicist working together. This would be pure Delpera in what I call a totally abstract shape. A lot of the shapes initially in the practice were very Art Nouveau, but also he's made some gourd vases that are irregular, asymmetrical, and very, very beautiful. And those are not so of their time. I find this totally timeless. If you showed it to me in an Egyptian tomb, or if you showed it to me 20 years from now, I would go, that's truly a great, beautiful object. It was a whole movement of what they called the animalier sculptures. In this period of 1900, they had a fascination with salamanders and any kind of little animal crawling about. I find ceramics as great and as relevant to the world of art as painting or sculpture. It's fascinating how ceramics and the aesthetic of ceramics mirrors the world of art and the times in which we live. Thank you.